Yeah, of course, uh, match day plus one, having our press conference for the derby. Um, if you take on the other side, uh, their match day plus one could have been on Sunday morning, Kaiser Chiefs. Um, and at that point, we, we still had two matches to play. Um, so it's not much preparation, it's about recovery. It's about uh, seeing exactly which players are available, um, seeing which players, as you saw in the match uh, last night, uh, a lot of substitutes had to be made, a lot of players had to be arrested, some injuries. Uh, so we have to manage uh, in relation to our preparation. You cannot do too much on the pitch. Um, so it's a lot of video, it's a lot of uh, um, tactical analysis in relation to how we can score, uh, where are their the weaknesses, where are their strengths, uh, uh, and freshness. Freshness is the priority to get uh, everybody on the pitch uh, ready to perform for 90 minutes. Um, I think um, the mood, um, I think the, the event itself sets the mood. I think uh, each and every player is ready. Um, we, we're just going to uh, make sure that we, 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 we get there and we, we do our best and we work as a team, we work as a unit and uh, we carry on uh, uh, working together and, and, and playing uh, the good style of football that we've been producing lately. Yeah, I think your question has, has two parts. Uh, in relation to Kaiser Chiefs, uh, if you just look at the history, um, last season uh, they were competing in the Champions League and it definitely affected their league form. I think they struggled to qualify for co uh, top eight in the end. Uh, and the season before, they were quite early out. They didn't have uh, uh, continental football to worry about and they lost the league on the last day. So. On the preparation front, yes, they should be uh, by default uh, the ones challenging. They should be uh, by default. They only have the league to, to worry about. If you just take uh, January, uh, they've played three matches so far. We've played six matches so far. Um, but we have to be there. We have to take this game uh, like any other game. Yes, it's a direct rival that is uh, fighting for the Champions League spot. And we definitely want that. Uh, but it's definitely not a game that you play not to lose. It's a definitely a match that uh, winning the game will give you that advantage. Winning the game will put you up uh, there in second spot already. Um, and that is what we're aiming for. Yeah, I don't like to talk about uh, single players. Uh, I think we treat uh, all our um, 36 players uh, the same. Uh, and definitely not only Gabardino Mango, but uh, Tsejo Fatsu Mabasa. Uh, Radio Pane, who's scoring every week and, and looking at us and, uh, hey, when am I getting my opportunity? Uh, but it's about managing the squad, yes. Uh, as you saw in the last couple of matches, he's uh, been in the squad and that is only a, a signal of his performances in training. So that has definitely put him a step closer uh, and fighting for a place. Uh, uh, so is Tejo Fatsu Mabasa. So is uh, uh, Radio Pane, and, and that competition is strong. At the moment, Gabardino Mahango has the, 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 um, the nod in the last few matches ahead of Tejo Fatsu Mabasa, ahead of Radio Pane. But they are working hard, they are pushing, they are fighting. Uh, Le Pasa, uh, Pepre as well, they are in the squad, um, both doing well. Uh, as well, so that competition is strong and uh, like we tell all our players, not only uh, strikers but uh, double six, uh, wing backs, wingers, uh, Moniani doing very well week in week out looking for his opportunity, um, but the player playing uh, in that moment is, is also uh, pushing and doing well, so uh, it's competition throughout the squad and uh, uh, I can only send the signal not only to one player but to the entire squad as uh, work hard, uh, be ready because that opportunity can come at any moment. There are players that are, are big match temperament players and we know them. And uh, yeah, um, the competition, the starting lineup uh, is completely open and uh, we can see it in the training session, training match uh, we had today. Uh, players putting up their hand, uh, uh, players performing uh, in a derby uh, situation. Uh, we have one training session today for the non-squad players, for the substitutes, uh, having a training match, uh, playing a limited amount of minutes, still being available for the derby. And uh, you already see uh, the, the players that are, are, are pushing, the players that are putting up their hand, the players that are looking you in the eye, not with, uh, not literally, but with their performance on the pitch. And uh, 
uh, uh, at the moment the competition is really high and really good and uh, we have to keep it that way. Um, I think uh, for me it's, it's all about the team. Um, um, the individually comes later. Um, I'm just going to work, try and uh, assist the team where I can and scoring will be just a bonus but just to make sure that I do my job um, uh, I work to my full potential and my ability and make sure that we get the results on Saturday and scoring will come later if I do I do if I don't as long as the team um, um, produces the three points I'm, I'm more than happy uh, the fans uh, the supporters make uh, the Soweto derby and uh, you know having a, a full stadium uh, I've experienced before since I'm here and now experience uh, the last couple of derbies with uh, no atmosphere. It's completely different, but uh, that rivalry, that uh, wanting to win, that uh, supporters uh, um, outside uh, where you, uh, the fever, derby fever is still there. Uh, it's just the, the spectacle on the pitch is slightly different. Uh, a, a hollow uh, stadium uh, makes it completely different uh, because uh, in, in, in the previous derbies where there were fans, uh, you can't hear yourself speak. It's then the player's mentality that is, is, has to come through. It's small tactical uh, elements that you can now fix with the empty stadium. You can shout to your left fullbacks that's on the opposite side and he will hear you. Uh, in a derby, it's about the players uh, and that is where the big match temperament. That big match temperament is still required because it's a huge game watched by millions. Uh, but definitely it hasn't lost its spark. Uh, and we know once the fans come back, uh, uh, that derby, that spectacular, that event uh, will be back uh, as it was before. Yeah, I think uh, if you look a little bit back on the history of, of us last season and now, last season we sat with zero strikers uh, and now everybody's fit and uh, uh, we suddenly sit uh, with, with six strikers that are competing for, for one position. And that is always the question you have as a coach, uh, uh, the strength of your squad. Um, do you play with two strikers? Do you take one midfielder out? Uh, at the moment, we're dominating games in terms of position, having the numbers in the centre of the pitch, having the extreme width uh, uh, on the sides with our, our wide wingers that are actually strikers. Um, so yeah, it's just about us finding the right balance and we have been uh, scored six goals in the last game uh, after 2-0 down and in the last match having all these opportunities and not scoring. So yes, you can blame it on the strikers, but I think us, we have to take the, the responsibility in relation to finding the right balance and you want your strikers uh, to score, yes, that's their primary job, uh, but of course uh, uh, you need your, your three players behind your strikers, you need your wide strikers playing left side Side, right side to also contribute to goals and that uh, Hotto, uh, Shando on the other side have been contributing on that uh, front so uh, it's just about us finding the right balance, finding the right balance what is uh, right for the team and uh, that questions are constantly going through our mind uh, as technicians, uh, myself and coach Mandla, is it the moment to play with two strikers, is it uh, the right game, is it uh, our, how we evolving as a team, uh, will that playing two strikers solve the, uh, the goal scoring problem or uh, finding the right balance with uh, the three uh, players behind the striker uh, to contribute as well. Really good uh, out of Hato's side, uh, Bandile Shandu's side uh, that are contributing, uh, but we need everybody. We, let's not uh, blame it on the strikers, uh, let's look at the collective. Uh, and so, so exactly you can say for the defensive uh, structure, you don't uh, really uh, applaud the goalkeeper alone. It's uh, really a team unit from the striker, how you press, how you play in the opponent's half and uh, all of the, uh, those things we have to look at holistically to, to, to fix this uh, goal scoring problem yeah he had a he had a setback um, after getting the clearance it was a, a tricky surgery that he had uh, on the muscle uh, so uh, we're taking it a step slow uh, a, um, more cautious approach because it is a muscle that has been operated on and uh, another three weeks of uh, rehabilitation again and uh, hopefully uh, by the month of April uh, if all goes well, he'll be, he'll be cleared for selection. We, we was very close in, in coming back, but had a slight setback. So uh, the cautious approach is now what's needed for him to pass his minimal standards in relation to his uh, rehabilitation. And then hopefully we'll have him fit. Uh, um, I don't want to put my head on the block, but uh, uh, by April month uh, or late March uh, to have him back on the pitch. Yeah, it, it's been... Uh, if you take the, the league form, what you have to take into 
uh, to consideration that we've played six matches so far and, and already winning the, the first two. Uh, but it's Nedbank Cup, it's uh, CAF Confederations Cup, uh, and then the league match comes at the time where you where you get the draw. Uh, that's those are. are momentum and uh, that's uh, really a situation where we won four in a row if you take the last two in december the first two in january but you have to win five in a row which is the league game you have to win six in a row seven in a row and uh, that consistency and juggling of competitions and still having the same mindset is really what we're trying to build in the squad not uh, um you you travel back uh, from libya uh, you come into a situation where you don't have much time to prepare, but still have the right mentality to 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 be able to perform uh, at the right level. Still have the mindset to be able to to score goals and finish teams off uh, uh, earlier in matches. Because you know, uh, with the fatigue catching in in the second half, uh, like we saw last night, you're not able to play at that same intensity. But uh, that is the mindset what we have to build, uh, um, and not uh, taking matches for granted. Having the right mindset for 90 minutes, whether you had two days to prepare, whether you had three days to prepare, whether you had seven days to prepare. And, and that is what we're trying to uh, to build in the players, uh, uh, control their, their thinking, don't think fatigue, think next action, uh, and then we're able to perform at a consistent level uh, to win six, seven, eight, nine, ten matches in a row. And that is what we, we have to build, whether it's league, whether it's Netbank, whether it's CAF Confederations Cup, uh, that is what we're trying to build within the players to be able to approach each match. Uh, as a cup final to get the three points, whether it's league, whether it's CAF Confederations Cup, whether it's Netbank Cup. Now, uh, uh, with your first question, it's, uh, we, we can't use that as an excuse. You can't say that uh, Cape Town City came last night uh, to Orlando Stadium and, and played for the point. Uh, it's our job to be able to unlock, uh, whether it's a deep block, whether it's a high press, whether it's a, uh, a medium block, uh, um, with the defensive structure, knowing our strengths. We, are, we should be able to, and as Orlando Pirates, we're a big team, we should be able to find solutions uh, in relation to whatever the opposition may um, present to us defensively. Low block, medium block, six defense line, five defence line, flood the midfield, high press, uh, we should be able to, to unlock them. Yes, uh, in the continent, uh, it's also what we've uh, been faced. So you can't really say uh, it's, uh, it's, um, it's a tactical uh, um, a situation that we, we're struggling with because low blocks on the continent, low blocks uh, on the um, last night against Cape Town City, we're unlocking teams, we're getting behind teams, we're getting these huge chances. So uh, on the positive note is we're creating uh, enough chances to win matches. We're unlocking defences, whatever they present uh, to us. Uh, we're building up through a high press, we, we're unlocking low blocks. Um, it's about finding the, uh, the killer instinct uh, uh, in that final third, in that uh, um, penalty area in the box uh, um, uh, what has to be executed in the right moment uh, and then it relates to your to your question uh, the goal scoring form is it just a copy and paste is it just a, a moment uh, that uh, you put these two in and suddenly your goal scoring uh, 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 issues are going to be solved uh, uh, I, I think it's a bit more uh, intricate uh, than that um, it's about finding the right moment an example for Radio Pani uh, he has played matches before and he's done well, but it's about finding the right moment for a youngster, 18-year-old. Is it the right moment to, to throw him in, in a derby to start against Jus? Maybe. Uh, some players can handle it, uh, but it's about us finding the right moment for the team, uh, for Gabardino Mohango, for Tsecho Fatso Mabasa. This is a moment, and when that opportunity comes, uh, I please, I, I beg the media uh, in relation to Tsecho Fatso Mabasa, Radio Pane, Gabardino Mohango, other players playing in different positions. Let's not slaughter them uh, where they have the opportunity uh, and, and it's, it's not working. Uh, we like to bold the players up and then uh, kill them uh, on the first moment it doesn't work uh, we have to find the right moment and when the opportunity comes we hope they can be that uh, solution and the striker is uh, um, that uh, has that special instinct in relation to one goal opens it up you honor momentum you're scoring then regularly each match you don't know how you score with your knee with your head with your chest uh, and that is what we we're trying to find in the moment Pepper has scored his uh, last match uh, in the CAF Confed last night created a lot of opportunities not really in the near post one uh, huge opportunity to score um, and it's about us finding that moment and in relation to your question yes we're finding the moment we're waiting for it 
let's hope uh, uh, when that opportunity comes, these players can come and dislodge the players uh, actually playing at the moment. Um, I think uh, it goes back to the, it just proves how um, the coaches, the great coaches that we have, um, the great, um, the great uh, uh, players that are around me to help me, and uh, it just it just proves um, how how one can 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 take a, a step um, um, forward and 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 really really produce um, um, to a result where I am, and uh, I I thank the coaches, I thank uh, the, the my teammates um, for helping me to adjust quickly, and and actually perform at a high level and 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 help the team where I can. So, so yeah, I take a huge thanks to them uh, uh, for helping me, my teammates and, and the coaches as well. Yes, he's been training, uh, uh, full training after his injury. So he is back uh, in full training, uh, competing for a place. Yeah, we, he's, uh, he's had the scan. We're waiting for the, the doctor to send his report to our medical team and then to make an assessment. At the moment, it does not look good. Um, having the injury match day minus one, really trying to be prepared. As you saw uh, in the CAF Confederations Cup match as well, uh, where we took uh, Lord, Marco, Shandu, Monari off. Um, as a precaution already, uh, Lord uh, had this hamstring issue. Um, two games back uh, and he's played through, um, but at the moment it does not look good. Uh, we, will, we wait for the scans uh, um, from the doctor, from the specialist to send to our medical team and uh, we'll get the report. But so far, um, it does not look good. Yeah, I think uh, the, the, the previous derby and you, you talk about the, the penalty we've considered, and it's not coincidence. Uh, uh, you can go back to how many penalties uh, Kaiser Chiefs have had in this derby. I hope we can... Uh, really be clear in relation to uh, penalty decisions tomorrow, uh, clear structured uh, um, decisions, neutral uh, on both sides. Uh, yes, you talk about the billiard uh, incident, but we know billiard, a player, if you, you, you touch him a small uh, uh, a touch or any contact in the box and uh, already is diving uh, in the Olympic pool uh, on, on both fronts. So I hope our referees are clear and know these things, uh, uh, knowing that any contact uh, in and around the box and Orlando Pirates concede another penalty, uh, that we can be clear and, and know what is coming in relation to especially uh, Kaiser Chiefs front three and especially uh, Billiard. Um, but yeah, the, we, we take the, the positives out of the last derby. Um, conceding in the last minute, uh, coming back uh, the way we did, dominating the way we did. Uh, uh, we take those positives, uh, but they are changed team. Uh, they now have been moved to a, a back three or back five uh, with Rama on, on, as a wing back on the one side, Frosler on the other side. Perhaps another option if Blom does not play in the midfield, he's playing on the wing back position. So it's definitely a, a situation that uh, um, a five defence line, difficult to unlock, difficult to, to break down. Uh, and we know, uh, as they did in the last match, uh, unfortunate mistake uh, with uh, Tyson passing the ball to the goalkeeper and they, uh, they scored from that uh, situation. And we know that is Kaiser Chiefs at the moment, really well coached, really well structured uh, defensively, uh, but they wait, they wait for you to make that mistake, they wait for you to have that turnover and they hurt you with their front three uh, on transition. So uh, they're one of the best teams in relation to their transition uh, um, with pace, with the quality they have of their front three, uh, but also really defensively strong with their five defense line, not easy to break down. So it's up to us uh, to be able to unlock this five defense line to minimize the mistakes uh, because that's what they're waiting for. They can wait uh, up until the 91st minute for your mistake. Uh, not really a team that will really high press you, uh, but they will wait uh, for your mistake and then hit you on the transition. So we have to be really clear uh, to minimize the stakes and find solutions to be able to unlock this uh, five defense line uh, that they have installed uh, recently. Yeah, uh, uh, I cannot comment on, on the fans. Uh, um, I'm not really aware of, of that. Uh, I think uh, with the media department, uh, that's not really a question for me. Um, the second spot uh, is a target, yes. Uh, we make no, uh, um, we don't hide it. Uh, but we cannot be focusing on second spot uh, right now. We have to focus on the next match. 
And at the moment, with us playing uh, already six games, uh, Kaiser Chiefs having really time to prepare on the pitch, uh, we have to take it game by game. And now our priority is recovery. Our priority is uh, preparing the players uh, mentally, uh, physically for the match. And we take it game by game. We play every match to win. And this is, although it's a derby, uh, we, we don't uh, prepare any different. We just take it as a match that we have to go for three points uh, at all costs, like we do all matches. And that's it.